Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be heading out to the barn. We have a pandemic out and I have not left my house in like I think it's two weeks today. My barn's three hours away from me because Theo's getting trained and there's about a thousand cases of coronavirus in Tennessee right now so you know hopefully we don't catch it. We're going to not stop anywhere on the way. Just pray I don't get it because that I really don't want it. <laughs> this is my favorite time of the year because our cherry trees bloom and there's all the bees and the butterflies and it makes me so happy and it feels like spring. What's going on? Oh my. <laughs> all right, so this is what I'm wearing today. I'm not gonna say about it, there's a Jupiter. Face layer is by Noble Outfitters. The belt is by Spice Equestrian, I think. Breeches are by Whores and Socks. I don't know what brand they are. I think they're like Socks or something like that. I don't know. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. All right, so this is where I'm just keeping my horse tack for now in my sunroom. I'm going to take my grooming tote because I don't want to touch the barn's brushes. What? What saddle pad should I use? I have all of these nice saddle pads that I never use. Do you like that? <laughs> I have this nice dressage saddle pad that I've never used. This nice white saddle pad that I've never used. I've never used this one. I've only used this one once. Here are my old saddle pads. I don't want to use the navy one, I think, because I'm wearing my navy breeches. Well, I thought I wanted to use this one, but it turns out that it really needs to be washed. Which saddle pad should I use? Jupiter. Jupiter. What saddle pad should I use? I'll use this white one. I haven't used this yet. Well, okay. That's, that's fine. Feel free to just lay on my clean white saddle pad. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring this one. I've had this for two years now and I've never used it and it's gonna be a while until I use it on Theo, so. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, so after a very long trip, I don't know, it's a really nice day. I'm probably gonna get Theo. We'll see. All right, so I'm just go grabbing my saddle. I'm gonna take it home and clean it up. <laughs> Cause it's not <laughs> good. All right, so I got my saddle in my car. I wish I had like a car stand, but I don't. So I'm just gonna take that home and clean it up. And it doesn't fit Theo anymore. So I'm either gonna sell it or do something with it. I'm not sure yet, so. So I can either ride Benjamin or Theo. I'm not really sure which one I should ride. So I'm literally just going to ask you guys. <laughs> I haven't ridden Theo here without a trainer and I wouldn't be riding him with a trainer. I was kind of nervous. But he's already been worked today, so I'll be back. Okay, so it looks like everyone wants me to ride Theo. So I'm gonna ride Theo. Ah! Theo's been moved once again, so gonna have to go up and grab him. Oh, I forgot to grab treats, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I hope you're not Theo. Hi, Theo. I already had to carry this. 
Good job. That worked really well. <laughs> Hello, hi, it's me. I would like to make a quick disclaimer. Okay, I grew up riding Western. So before you guys make fun of me for not being able to lift the saddle, that was legitimately a heavy saddle. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, mama's up. Good boy. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> people does it take plus a mounting block to tack up a horse? No trainer in the arena. It was really good. Just happy. Oh. I'm not laughing at you. Yeah, you are. I think it's wonderful. You faced your fears. He didn't buck you off. All right, I look really bad right now, but I am taking Theo back. He ruined his halter, and now I have to go and try to fix it. So talking to the trainer about it, because we called the trainer, we were like, he's never done this, we don't know what to do. And he's never done that. But they said he's never been tacked up outside. And this was the first time I've tacked him up at this barn. So they kind of think that's the issue. Like he just kind of flipped out, like he was nervous over there or something. So I know I look really bad, I'm sorry. And I'm out of breath, but yeah, so I'm taking him back. Back up, back. What? I gave you my last treat. What? No more. What? Got my hand covered in mud and hair though. Usually I struggle to get him to canter. He's usually like, I don't want to. And I'm not going to. But today, even though he's been ridden two other times today, I like just slid my leg back and he like jumped into the canter. And he's never cantered that fast for me that I literally thought he was about to buck me off and dump me into the dirt. So it kind of scared me, but it, was, it also felt really good. And he listened to me so well and I was just praying the entire time because there wasn't a trainer there. But yeah, it was a good ride. I mean, I'm still scared of canter. I still have a long way to go of confidence as far as riding home, but I was just so happy that I cantered three times and I, tr I just told myself today, two strides. That's all. I, d <laughs> I just said, I'll canter two strides, but I'm going to canter. And he was doing so good, I decided to canter a lot of strides. So I'm, I'm just really happy. So I'm heading home, have another three hour trip back to our house. The CEO did very good besides the fact that he tried to kill himself. Hopefully I never have to deal with that ever again. Slowly but surely getting over my confidence issues with him and maybe one day we'll actually be consistent and 
a tea. Comment down below. What's your least favorite bad vice in a horse? So like bucking, pulling back, rearing. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. And how many times have I said, and I'll see you next time? Probably like four times now, but I'll see you next time. Bye.